Up next, under fire, discrimination and corruption in the Texas National Guard, the next Peabody, because of their tireless efforts, the KHOU team, leading to changes in the highest ranks of the Texas Guard. Seeking for justice within the Texas Air National Guard has become a farce. And even the base's doctor wasn't immune. It's almost laughable at this point. Major Val Ross was a civilian physician, but then came 9-11. I felt that the nation was under attack. So she abandoned her practice and enlisted in the Air Guard. Her job? Making sure Ellington's pilots were healthy. That is, until she found her commander, Colonel McNeely, unfit to fly. It eventually came to a crisis this point. Ross says it wasn't long before she too was driven out of the guard, but not before filing a discrimination complaint with the military. The only problem? I am now on the three year and four month mark of waiting for some kind of resolution. And investigative reporter Mark Greenblatt accepts. You know, by the time we got done reporting this story, we had found that the commanding generals who ran the Texas National Guard were also stealing money. And three of them lost their jobs. A fourth base commander in Houston lost uh, his job. But when we really knew that this story mattered was because of the human impact of what investigative journalism and what we all do can really mean to our communities. I got an email from a officer in Houston who emailed me and said, thank you for doing this story. I now can go to work. I'm now no longer physically sick having to work for the leadership in the Texas Guard. On behalf of David Rizik, Keith Tomshi, Robin Hughes, Chris Hanau, Keith Connor, Susan McKeldoon, Peter Diaz, and Dunya Shive of KHOU and the Bilo Corporation. I am so thrilled. Thank you very, 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 very much.